Inside the door, people. I am Vernon Sly. I'm Jacob Salzman. I'm Nolan Strauss. And we just wanted to start off with door improvement. The door that gave us the idea was the ones exiting the library on campus. As you can tell right here, I want the focus is on the first one, not the second one, even though you can sort of see it on both. The bar has no slant. There are no symbols on the door at all. And you cannot, the hinge is at the very top, which I purposely cut out of this picture because it's usually not in your line of eyesight. So, I also want to show that this is not just at the library. This is also at the Science One building, which are the only two I came in, I noticed, but I haven't been in all the buildings on campus. Of course, it depends on when they were built and etc. And same thing here. There's, it's just a flat bar. There's no sand to make you lean a certain way. And the amazing thing actually about this door is that it's actually against our social norms. Because you usually enter and exit the same door that you walk into a building, except these have two separate ones and they both lean the same way, which you're used to them switching. Because you want to, let's say, if you go in, pulling on a right, or pulling on the left to go to the right to enter, you're going to expect to open the opposite way. But these go the same way, so you get stuck. And we want to try to figure out how to fix the problem without changing the door, just very minimal cost, and just try to keep it as simple as possible. To answer some of the important questions about our thing. Who would be the simple one? We wanted to be anybody who used the door at all. First, I originally thought it was just the students because we use it the most and we have a bunch of us here. But when I went to go talk to the library dean, to I was about our original uh, testing that we were going to do, he actually knew exactly what I was talking about as soon as I brought it up. He's like, I can't believe that something so simple can be so confusing. And what would be all the doors that you think you're pushing on the right side, but you're really not? Where? Library, any door, Science One building. When? When you try to exit. Most of them aren't entered because or when you enter because of the laws that are in place that all doors have to open outside for fire escape purposes. So you don't have too much of a confusion because there's a handle. There's some significant purpose of something there. So you have no confusion. And why? Because we use doors every day. You cannot go, well, where can you go without using a door? And how? That is going to bring us to our design. Our, we were trying to figure out what would be the best and simplest change that we could bring to these doors without having to recreate the door all together. Okay. Go to Nolan. Right. Um, right here is a storyboard we drew up for uh, kind of go figure out what the users were thinking or the steps that they're supposed to complete to uh, successfully go through the doors. So first they would approach the door and spot the vision queue. They would essentially decide which side they're going to push on. And usually this kind of happens without much thought. Um, the second one they push and then simply they exit the door. Um, here are some other things. These are some sticker designs that we had of. We were given a restriction of like a 3 by 5 index uh, card sized um, sticker. That's just what the library guy gave us. And we did that so we won't have, because these are glass doors and they're worried about fire escape and like people blocking what's on the other side. So we had to limit ourselves to how much space we can cover. And right here, these are some symbols uh, we're about putting on the door. Um, later we found out that the symbols were a really great idea. Um, right there, this one just represents a door, like swinging outwards. You put that anywhere on it, you know, swinging outwards, whatever. It's supposed to indicate which way the door is going. And this one is just a simple visual cue to kind of, uh, kind of point in the direction when you push. These are placements. We, I'm going to take over for the experiment. Um, we had to do it in class, but uh, for future, um, in the future we hope to do it actually at the library. Um, we started with an informed consent document, which uh, gave the participants you know, general knowledge of what we were doing. Um, it also identified things like uh, the risks and benefits and uh, the procedure itself. Which um, started with uh, uh, abstract drawings of doors. Um, and then uh, they were placed one by one in front of the participant. 
Um, each of them had its own unique visual cue. Um, for that, we used like symbols, which no one said um, can be pretty confusing. Um, for a lot of them, we held the same uh, oval, uh, three by five oval, which we did uh, different spatial frequencies to just see where the best place to put it would be. And then the participants were instructed to point at which side of the door they would push to exit. So, um, yeah, pretty much. And we did, here's an example of like uh, what it would look like. Here's our abstract door, and uh, here's our visual cue, which a visual cue down here isn't going to do much good anyways. Um, it's pretty confusing. So uh, we just went through and did different special frequencies. and um, That's basically what the experiment looked like. Um, we did this for 13 sets of doors. Um, including one without a queue, which was uh, probably the most important because it was our control door. And it, it also is the closest resemblance to the library door. Um, as you can see, it looks exactly like it. So um, that's what we use for control. Um, for the answers, we predetermined which uh, was the correct and incorrect uh, action to each door and we created a key so we could do the results and just sort of refer back to the key um, to determine the correct action um, and score accordingly. Um, we also recorded comments such as like this one is confusing um, which is the symbol. Um, a lot of the symbols were really confusing and um, visual cues that were like way up top just didn't make any sense. We also recorded like delays in pointing, like whether they were confused, things like that. And then we ended it with a debriefing. And then from there we just referred back to the data and checked for reoccurring themes and uh, unique occurrences for our results. And for our final conclusions of what we found out, this is a breakdown of our doors. Here's some examples of what the doors would look like across the chart. Uh, the best one that we came out to be was the one on the, the small symbol on the side of the door, nearest to the handle. And then as you progress down, they get more complicated or farther away from the handle. And see, so on the opposite side, and it's a symbol, got the lowest. So we try to add control. So the one on the left had one uh, a dot in the center of the door. That really gave no indication. People had to kind of guess, and those combined would be 50 percent. Um, confusing one is also that the door kind of seven. This design right here, which had a uh, bottom. People commented they they wouldn't even see it. Uh, this was something that that's what their thoughts out loud. So I don't know if it was actual thing, but it had a very it was kind of poor. And, uh, I think the most interesting thing that we learned was like uh, this one right here. Um, it has a symbol indicating which side uh, the door was on. And like the symbol communicates to open it, swing outward like that, and you, you know, push that side. But even uh, though it indicates that side, and also the placement indicates that side to push on, people got uh, were confused, uh, showing it like uh, just the pure placement was better than the symbol. So if you compare that to our last one here, that's the difference of the placement. Now, this one right up here, right here is our solution. It came out to be that this area on the side that the door is going to be pushed open to, so this side will be opening up, is our best visual cue just to subconsciously tell somebody to push on it. With no extra thought, nothing to push you, and what we are going to, our future experiments are going to be, would go along with actually putting them on the library door. There are some limitations to having a paper door, considering you're not going through. So you're not walking up to it, and you don't have that pressure to quickly open the door, and so you're a little confused because that's not what you're used to. That's what we'd like to do in the future, and thus getting better results because of our... I would have to have more subjects, and it's a better experience.